evening foodies and what to eat. Today we shall be tickling our taste buds with some uniquely British foods with funny names. I'm actually British but these foods I've never tried before so quite excited to taste them with you uh, for the first time. As you can see I am well dressed for this occasion. So what is on the menu this evening? Kicking off for appetizers we shall be having jellied eels. For the main course we shall have haggis and to accompany this we'll have bubble and sweet. Finally for dessert we shall be tucking into spotted dick. So appetizers, jelly deals. As the name implies, this is eels embedded into jelly. This is typically served with malt vinegar. For you youngsters out there, eel is a type of fish you may have eaten before when you have sushi or Japanese food and order unagi because unagi is the Japanese word for eel. So loosely put, jelly deals is a British style unagi. This dish dates all the way back to the 18th century. Back then, eel was cheap and you can fish them from the River Thames, but not so sure you want to do that today. Anyway, jelly eels was very popular in London where you would find them in pie and mash shops. Probably the best way to think of it is ordering McNuggets from McDonald's in the olden times. So British Unagi, here we go. Mm, smells obviously fishy. <laughs> Let's try this without the vinegar first. Mmm. <laughs> wow. It's very salty. Be careful of the bones. There are bones in here, quite big bones. It's fishy. And obviously, texture is gelatinous from the jelly. Hmm. Let's try this with the vinegar. See if there's going to be any improvement. <laughs> I must stress, you've got to be careful with the bones in this. There's a lot of bones. Overall, this is quite salty and fishy. So if you can handle your strong tasting fish, then you might want to give this a try. But for me, probably a pass. Now on to the main course. We have haggis accompanied with bubble and sweet. So haggis is the national dish of Scotland. I read somewhere that haggis is the most hated food by Brits. Not quite sure why this is the case. Is it because it tastes bad? Or is it because of what it's made of? Because haggis is traditionally made from parts of lamb such as heart, liver and lungs. This is mixed with onions, oatmeal, animal fat and spices. Finally, this is stuffed in animal stomach lining. Don't worry, today we will be looking out for our vegetarian friends and trying vegetarian haggis, whereby you replace the animal ingredients with veggies. So, whew. As mentioned, this will be accompanied with another funny named British dish called bubble and sweet. Bubble and sweet is made from cabbage and mashed potatoes, which is then fried. Why is it called bubble of sweet, you may wonder? Well, Google says it is because of the sound it makes when this dish is being cooked, basically when it's being fried. Traditionally, you will eat haggis with neeps and tatties, which basically is a type of mashed potato. So given bubble and sweet also contains mashed potatoes, we could be on a winning combination here. So without further ado, Let's tuck in. Let's try the haggis first. Mm. Get nutty flavour from this. And, and taste the spices. Quite crisp. I have some gravy here, so this may improve it. Let's pour some gravy. Mm. 
the oats give it a nice texture and um, the spices I can definitely taste. Oh. <laughs> mm. I think I like this. It's um haggis is quite meaty actually. Um you don't I mean veg the veggies definitely have replaced the animal parts. And yeah, it's not too salty. Fragrant. Yeah, I'll definitely eat this again. Mm. Get lovely loveliness from the bubble and sweet. And then it goes very well with the cabbage. I think the cabbage gives it a bit of a crunch. And I think um I don't know, I mean I mean, this seasons quite well. I can definitely taste a little bit of herbiness from it. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It accompanies this haggis very well. I mean, haggis is very nutty, uh, meaty, fragrant. And, um, you know, this added with this and a bit of gravy equals good stuff. The winning combination. So, now on to the dessert. We have spotted dick. This is a pudding dish that dates back to the 1800s and is made from dried fruit and flour. And you may be wondering why the unique name? Well, spotted obviously refers to the dried fruit. And dick is a term used in some regions in the UK for pudding. So that's why you get spotted dick. So now that is clear, Let's try without the custard first. Mm, I can smell the aroma from the dried fruit. Mm. Nice, moist sponge. Mm. Let's add some custard to this. Mm. You get the creaminess from the custard, which helps balance out the fruitiness from the pudding. Mm. So foodies, this was really good. I mean, I'm gonna call it a wrap and finish off this beautiful dessert. Hope you enjoyed the episode today. See you next time.